This here's a video to show you of my automatic chicken door opener. This is the outside. Little ramp. I've installed power to the chicken house. Um, not completely hooked up, but almost. Put a little flashing around just to keep the weather from getting to the wood. The floor is treated, but the walls are standard wood. So I was just trying to keep it dry in case the rain blowing in. The ramp's treated. Little roof. Alright, we'll go on the inside. Um, the hen box. They've been laying quite a few eggs. Um, I gotta get some more shavings. They just cleaned the chicken house up pretty much today. But this is what we're coming in to see. The automatic chicken door opener. There's uh, the power supply timer, the air compressor, another timer behind there, an uh, air shuttle valve, and the up and down air cylinder, and a lock air cylinder. The door is chopping block or 5 8 um, Teflon with aluminum channels all the way around, even seat in the bottom to try to make a good complete seal for varmints and snakes and whatnot. Um, it looks a little complicated but it's not really. It's uh, pretty simple. It's like the second version. Been working on this a couple weeks. This is a water sprinkler timer. It has uh, six um, commands or you can have six separate commands or solenoids and uh, two separate um, power settings or, or time settings I guess for any any choice of uh, of the six one one through six and so there's A and there's B and I use both A is is open in the morning B is to close in the morning it's um, a 12 24 volt system 12 volt air compressor 24 volt shuttle valve 24 volt timer this is a 110 unit 12 volt power supply an old Dell computer it's about 19.8 but enough power to run this timer those coils and to shuttle this 24 volt relay which is 12 volt on the switch side to run their compressor so we're going to close the door the, the timer's always on it sh and I have it programmed to shut off for one minute at 601 in the morning after the door is open to cut out the latching relay on this timer and I got it to shut off at 801 in the evening to again cut the latching relay on this timer so here goes we're going to select B to close since the door is open enter supply would have just cut off clear this manual setting put us back on on I've got this gate valve 
to orifice the supply to the air cylinder so it goes slow otherwise it would be in like a guillotine effect and then on the upstroke so the lock valve closes quick enough to hold the door up I took the exhaust and rerun it to the back side to give it a regen system to speed it up so we're going to open it manual we're going to select a point past it enter the up solenoid just energized we're going to energize it up. See the lock cylinder quit because I've took and regen the exhaust straight into the back side to close that cylinder. This is my automatic chicken door opener because I can't be here all the time to open and close the door and thus so far has been a success and keeping the varmints out. I've lost my light, the door's closed. But thanks for watching, and all this is pretty much recycled. I did buy that timer, and this little box with the outlet, and uh, the sprinkler timer. I've got about um, $65 in everything. That's the recycled cylinders from work. I obviously work in an industrial environment. The shuttle valves recycled. The air compressor was something out of the garage. Of course, the power supplies are recycled. I did buy the air hose and a few air fittings to make all this happen. But uh, thanks for watching.